People of all sizes, large and little, ladies and gentlemen and folks somewhere in the middle, welcome back to Sushimi's house. I'm your loving host, Master Sushimi, joined today by my sweet loving wife, Mistress Sushimi, and my good good puppy son, Mr. President, aka Theodore Roosevelt, aka Teddy, who's chewing on one of his bones. And I'm here to say, Happy New Year! This is our first recording in the new year. Um, it is, what, the second today? Um... <laughs> I have a little bit of a cold, I think. My wife is coming down with something a good bit stronger. And Teddy, well, Teddy's just chewing. And we're back with some more Yakuza Zero. Um, okay, so I don't think we were doing any sub-stories right now, right? I don't think so. Oh, there was this one, but... Uh, Play Money Shakedown. Oh, that guy. That's annoying. Yeah. So, I guess for now, let's just chase some plot. Oh, that's okay. It just shows up on the... Uh, map. Yeah, guys. This is gonna be a somewhat more low-key session. I'm uh, sorry. We're tired. We're sick. You know? Bring, bring in some, some very light but positive energy into the new year. Oh. Also, no one wants to hear this for more than a few minutes. <laughs> That's, yeah, definitely. Oh, hello. Now Mizuki. You'll lose your viewers. <laughs> That's true. Uh, for Christmas, I got my wife and myself basically a, uh, a Peloton, one of those fancy bike things. We're rich. I wouldn't go that far, it makes but we're me doing. Feel rich. <laughs> there you go. We're doing. We're doing okay for ourselves. Um, but mostly, <coughs> I got it because I'd like to get in better shape. Currently, my shape is that of a bad circle. <laughs> Bad circle. Like a like a kindergartner circle. Oh, you're lo you're lumpy. Yeah, I'm lopsided. Pretty, I feel pretty lumpy and lopsided. Like a bruised bear. Yeah, I don't feel good about myself. No. <laughs> but uh, I want to fix that. You know, 2020. I want to feel good about myself. I want to at least not feel bad about myself. I I'd like to feel neutral about myself. Let's get there first. I'd like to be a shape that maybe like a fifth grader drew, not a kindergartner. Like an oval. Yeah, there you go. I think that's a respectable you shape. Want a dad bod? I'll t I'll take a dad bod. Right now I've got like a bus driver bod. <laughs> God. Like no offense to all y'all bus drivers out there, but I definitely. I was gonna say a plumber. Okay, yeah, definitely like like somebody who. Only because your pants fall a lot. I mean, my pants do fall a lot because I had to overshoot on the size. Because <laughs> I had to upgrade pants. Like guys, that's not a good look. You no. can't just be outgrowing pants and you're like mid 20s no because you're not growing you're just fattening uh, so yeah for the culling yeah so uh <laughs> my plan is for the culling jesus he's grim <laughs> my plan is uh less if not no uh soda definitely less sweets and peloton time gonna peloton get time. gonna get intimate with that bike is this year that you're trying to eat at home more or is that next year i'd like to eat at home more um, I think I also got a new job. Uh, yeah. It's closer to home, which means my commute should be shorter. Uh, I get holidays off, like actually off, because it's not a twenty-four hour joint. So yeah, I'm I'm hoping that'll lead to better recording times and more time to like cook at home, spend some time on the bike, stuff like that. Yeah. I'm also gonna be on the bike. Yeah, I said I bought it for both of us. My goal was to be on it every day, and then I got terribly ill. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I probably shouldn't be working out if I can't talk for a sense. <laughs> That's true, because, uh, I don't know when's the last time you as a viewer rode a bicycle. For me, it's been a while. But when somebody is telling you that you need to ride the bicycle harder and faster, 
stronger. Uh, and stronger and better. Uh, it's exhausting, as it turns out. Uh, and that shit will have you huffing and puffing if you haven't moved in a little while. Yeah. Sorry, this just came up. I guess I'll go drain the <coughs> tank. Uh, I'm and also in that great stage where I cough and I, I definitely feel and taste mucus coming up, but it won't mm. come out. Oh, that's frustrating. It's lodged. Oh yeah, I'm also quitting the burger. That's true. Wouldn't it's it be? like the equivalent of eating a piece of cake every time I have one beer, and I very often have more than one beer. That yeah, you you like your Typically tall boys. Always, I have more than one. Yeah, beer. You, you usually have two. Two uh, tall ones. Yeah. So that's really like tall cans. It's an upsetting amount of beer. That's all I'm saying. It's an upsetting amount of fluid. Actually, now that I'm th- now that I'm really breaking it down, because those are what like twenty four ounce cans, yes. if not more. So that's forty eight ounces of fluid that but, you yeah, it's about fifty summarily chug. Yeah, and like I love you, but holy shit, that's kind of scary to think about. That's how much water I drink usually at a time. Yeah, I would be scared if that were water. I just have a large tank. You do. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna stop that because oh my god, toilet talk. I guess I should write a reply. Yeah. Not only is it expensive. I, I meant look at the guide, the but. Suck. Oh, are we doing a, a sub story? You said it, you weren't going to do them. Well, it came up. Oh, well, you should tell people these things. What's it called? A toilet talk. <clears throat> Ain't right for a person to be lonely. It says here. I can't read all that. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, fair enough. Um, it's a fairly simple, <laughs> straightforward story. Basically, you once you reply, the next time you come back. Um, oh God! Sorry. Um, sorry, it's just getting hard to breathe at this point. Do you have some water with you? Glad I took work off. Tomorrow. Yeah. Or at least a shorter shift. Oh, no, I, I worked you, it out. Oh, you got it off-off? Yeah. That's good. That's for the best. Mm-hmm. Might have to see a doctor. You may just have to. It's, uh, it's well, pretty it's rough. it's getting to that point where I can't take deep breaths because it makes me cough. Mm. Last time that happened, I got a lung infection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you were playing Toilet Story? Oh. Um, basically, next time I come back, it'll give me the option of a couple replies. I can literally choose any of the replies. Um, and then it'll tell me they want to meet up, meet up, beat up, win points. Let's go. Nice. So, pretty pretty simple as far as sub-stories go. Uh, <coughs> you good? Oh, right, we live, like, back in here, huh? Yeah, you're a creep. Forgot a... Well, now, hold on. We're impoverished. Oh, yeah, my my third goal, along with working out more, and... Is to stop calling people creeps for stuff that's out of their control? No, I like that word. <laughs> um, giving up beer, and I am going to get a better job. Yeah, that'd be great. This is my year to get adult money. Get that. That cheddar. I want to. I want to get salary this year. That'd be cool. I'm twenty. I'm past twenty-five. Yeah, I'm not. I'm in the twilight of my life. I don't know about twilight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. We've got like forty more years together. Yeah, honestly, assuming nothing awful happens. Like forty good years. Yeah. After that, it's bad. And then we probably, honestly, probably have. Then we start considering a suicide pact. We probably have at least a good 60 years. Probably. Together. Optimistically, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Did you just take a look at me and go, man, I'm not going to last that long. <laughs> that just sounds sick so it. long to be with one person. Well, yeah, when you think about it that way. I hope that Bubby keeps having an interesting life. That's true. So we can keep talking about her to fill the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just like, yeah, it's her 30th dog. 
yeah, see, that's the part that freaks me out the most about we have 60 years left together. Like, how many dogs is that? It's like six dogs. Probably, yeah. Like, if we're just getting them as each one dies. <laughs> if we have two dogs at a time, that's 12 dogs that we will have had in our life. Yeah. That's 12 children that we have to bury. Woof. <laughs> like I said, we're going to keep a light and positive energy going into 2020. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. We just have a lot of grim conversations. Yeah, no. It's a weird service. Oh, man. We got a young woman. Oh man, Akko. That was most of my college experience. I'm not sure I've told the story on the channel. But, um... I had a rough couple years in college. Um, I was in a very bad place mentally. I think I, that's fair to say. I think so. And, uh, I was real good at starting classes. Not so much at finishing them. Yeah, you had strong starts a lot. Yeah, so I did about three years of college and got through possibly the equivalent of one year. If that much. Like, by the end, I was still taking first year classes. It was bad. It was a bad scene. <laughs> but there was a class I had to take, Discrete Mathematics. Which is, um, math that seems to have an actual functional purpose. Uh, hmm? it does it. No, it actually kind of does. It's like advanced forms of counting is part of what part of it has been described of as. Um, but it basically... <clears throat> it was very helpful for computer science, which is what I went to school for. Uh, anyway, <coughs> so I started that class... Again, strong start. And then I disappeared for a while. Just kind of fell off the map. Uh, for like a few weeks. And then I came back. And uh, there was a test. So I came in, sat down. The, t the professor distributed a test. I, look, I took a look through the test. I was able to get through the first page with, with relative ease. Um... It might have been a midterm now that I'm thinking about it, because there was a lot on that test. There were about three or four more pages after that where I just, it was all gibberish, it was all hieroglyphics, and I went, hmm. And I signed my name, I gave it to the professor. You didn't finish? Uh, of course not. Oh boy, you didn't was guess? It? No, because it wasn't multiple choice, it was like, do your work oh, here. Shit. It was like, like grown up math. Uh, and so I did the first page, signed my name, gave it to the professor. Walked out. First one to turn in my test, obviously. <laughs> you did one page. Because I did a quarter of the work of everybody else. <laughs> and uh, You didn't even sit there a while just to make it. No, I went, <laughs> I went straight to the administrator office and dropped the class. I bet you <laughs> Instantly. that... Instantly. I bet you that professor like noticed that you dropped and was just like... That makes sense. Yeah. Just wait a minute.俺実は不倫の Oh, man. 
I just remembered that what we did during the last session. Shades in a black jacket. Yeah. Um, last thing we saw during the last session, we were in like a nice little food cart and home dude that's got our balls in a vice was just like, I need you to kill somebody for me. Yes. So that's what we're doing now is we're gathering information so that we could kill a man. But again, we're going to keep it light and positive. This is getting harder and harder by the second. And it's day two. We're not very positive people. We're not. We're pretty grim. Oh. He looks like a creep. Yeah. <laughs> Walking, Walking erection. erection? Excuse me? Right. Yeah, that's, that's me. <coughs> oh, that was that guy. Remember, I was like, I'm going to save him for last. And then the game took the reins and was just like, nah, you're not going to learn about him at all. And now here we are. As if, as if, no, this just happened. As if graced by God. <laughs> you're a real poon hound, huh? Jesus. I mean, the guy is named Walking Erection by the game. <laughs> No, strictly business. <laughs> you real hard up, aren't you? <laughs> I guess that's how it must look. Yeah, honestly. Mm. Three rounds a day just isn't enough for me. So I wind up just going from spot to spot most days. Dear God. That's not even like st stamina. That's like a like a Greek curse. Like he must fuck, or he will die. And then something about something eating his liver. How much jizz you got in you? Well, I do know this is a family show. <laughs> Birds of a feather. Thought we could trade tips. I don't know, man. You seem like your tip's pretty busy. Ah. Now where the cutest girls in town are. Who is good at the shop? That sort of thing. <sighs> Wait, they changed his name from Walking Erection to Mr. Libido? Mm. Oh yeah, the private video booth spot. <coughs> hmm. So I'm pretty sure this is... Like, it's plot in that it just happens in front of you. But I'm fairly certain this is the start of a sub-story. Because <coughs> it's basically like, you can get a bunch of the girls to make videos. Which I think we learned there's like a sub-story that you can do in chapter 2 if you've gotten enough girls to do videos and like seen three of them. You good? Homie, you good? Oh no. Guess let's give him medicine. Hope that helps. <laughs> 